हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल पराग जामबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू डेटा एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी डिजाइन इश्यूज फॉर एब्स्ट्रैक्शन मींस व्हेन वी हैव टू अचीव डेटा एब्स्ट्रैक्शन देन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट डिजाइनिंग इश्यूज सो दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट डिजाइन इशू इज द फॉर्म ऑफ द कंटेनर for the interface to the type means how interface to the this data abstract data types is provided for example here you can see so in this example this is a class is defined sample that is the name of the class and inside this class we are defined one function now we are accessing or we are using it in this function right this is a main function now for that purpose we have created object of sample class so this is the interface to this sample class so sample is a abstract data type in this case and through this we are providing interface to the this class so interface in the sense how we are accessing this class so how it is access how this class is access through this object or through this instance of class so this is the first design issue so how interface to the abstract data type is provided so in which form it is provided so this is the form of the container for the interface to the type how interface to the abstract data type is provided then second design issue is whether abstract data types can be parameterized so as yes, it can be parameters parameterized so some abstract data types provide support to parameterize in the sense we can pass some parameters to the abstract data type so simple example is this only so here we have created class sample and sub and here in main function we have created object of sample class now suppose we want to pass some parameters so here we can have constructor for this so for example this is the constructor for this function for this class and here we can have some variable so for example integer y so here to this class we can pass some parameter so for example while creating object of sample class we can pass some parameter like this so that four will be the parameter and that will get passed to this class through the constructor so uh, to some abstract data type we can pass some parameters so this is the second design issue so some abstract data type not all but some abstract data type we can pass parameters then what access controls are provided and how such controls are specified so what access control we can provide to abstract data type now see here we have defined one class and that we are using in this main function suppose it is written in the same file so we can use it here if it is written in some other files or in some other library so through header files we can access it or if you consider java language so if it is defined in some other package in some other folder so we have to import that package in our file in our program and through that we can access it so we have different access control for example public private protected okay default so these are the different access control on which you can uh, put some restriction on the use of this abstract data type so that was third design issue so what access controls are provided and how such controls are specified so we have access control to the access of this abstract data type fourth is whether the specification of the type is physically separate from its implementation or whether that is developer choice that means 
see uh, abstract data type it is implemented somewhere else and we are using somewhere other, uh, in some other part so how implementation is different from the specification means where we are using it so it can be implemented so see uh, that we have discussed while uh, uh, seeing the access control so implementation can be universal so for example it is defined in c++ language suppose it is defined in some other files so by by using header files we can use or we can specify this abstract data type or if we are using java language so we will define this abstract data type that is our class in some other package and we need to import that package in uh, our program where we are using that so implementation can be at other place it will be separated from the specification where we are using it so it uh, depends on the developer so developer will decide where to put uh, implementation of that abstract data type so it's up to developer and uh, user will use somewhere else so these are the different design issues for the data abstraction so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you